Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Oracle Integration Connectivity Agent. I am here in the documentation page by Oracle for Oracle Integration. There are few prerequisites before installing Connectivity Agent in your uh, machine. So you must be having this JDK 8 version already available. You should have a sign in credentials for your uh, integration account that is access to Oracle integration. If you don't have then you can make use of the free credits to Oracle integration and create one. One of the supported operating systems on host uh, you can check the system requirements uh, on which you want to install the connectivity agent. Uh, then you have to create the group and there are a bunch of instructions which we need to execute. So I will head over to this Oracle integration cloud UI. First we have to create an agent. I am going to create an agent. The navigation is uh, once you are in the integrations you have to go for this agents and click on this create agent group. I am giving the name as agent test agent. Click on this create button. Yeah, Our agent has been created. Next is we have to download. We have to click on this download and connectivity agent. I have already got this downloaded in my local machine. I will open the terminal. Let me let me check the Java version available. I am already having 1.8 JDK by Oracle. If you don't have, you have to get that installed prior to installing connectivity agent. After this, we have to make the connectivity agent directory if you don't have. I am not having the connectivity agent directory. Let me create by using the command make directory connectivity agent. Let me check this. Yeah, I am having the connectivity agent now. Next step is we have to copy the Muda installer from download location to the newly created folder. Okay, copy this. Paste it over here. Replace this user one with your username. In my case, it is learning. It might vary from system to system and environment to environment. Click on enter. Yeah. Let me go into this connectivity agent and check. Yeah, we have moved the installer. Next step is. Uh, we have to go into this connective agent. Yeah, we have done that. We have to copy this unzip command, paste it over here, click on enter. Yeah, unzip is done. Let me verify. Yeah, it's done. Uh, next is we have to verify we did that. We have to add the Oracle integration URL and agent name. Let me copy this, paste it over here. Instead of V, I am using a graphical editor using gedit click on enter yeah it will open the configuration file over here i will populate the oic url and the agent identifier in our case agent identifier is test agent we can give the host name username password and oic url i will provide this we'll save and then we'll continue i have provided the details in configuration file and saved the file the next step is we have to provide permission. I am providing the permission for everyone. And the next step is we have to add the path local JDK 1.8 slash pin in our path variable. Let me check uh, if I am having this already. If not, we will add. Let me copy this and paste it over here. Yeah. Let me verify now. Yeah, now the path has been added. Next step is I have to run this jar that copy this and paste it over here it's asking for the username i will populate the username and password yeah my agent installation has been completed once you enter the username it will ask for the password i have provided then it will go ahead with install the agent let me go over here and refresh as you can see it's showing the agent count as one it has installed the agent now uh, we'll try to invoke our uh, FN server, which is hosted locally in this machine. Uh, we'll make we'll make a call to this local host and send a message from integration and check if it is working or not. I've created a connection test restcon. I have made use of this agent test agent uh, if for configuring uh, one rest connection. I'm giving a dummy URL as of now. I will overwrite this uh, from within the integration. So uh, once done, click on test and save.
I will go to this integration directly and uh, test the connection. I have created this test uh, local int uh, integration which will uh, make use of this uh, connection which we modified just now. Uh, in the mapper, as I told, we are overwriting this URL which we had used while configuring the connection with the local host that is uh, this one local host 8080. This application we had deployed in our local FN server local host 8080 which we are accessing from the Oracle integration cloud. So this we are overwriting and passing a, a name from the input to the function. And the response we are mapping what we get the greetings from our function. We will test this integration. I am here in the test, testing page for the integration. Click on this body, provide the name. I am giving the name as Venom Learning. Click on this test button. Okay, we are getting the response from the function which is hosted in our local FN server in our virtual box. So, if you have not watched those videos in which we had created the local FN server uh, in the virtual box, then please check out the video. I will give the link in the card section. So, let me refresh this. As you can see, we have sent uh, invoked the local FN server with the message. That is, we have passed the BNM learning and the uh, URL which we have used is the local host. Uh, and uh, this we are accessing from the Oracle integration cloud. We are connecting to the local local uh, FN server which is hosted in our virtual box uh, Linux environment. If you click on the message, here if you see the target uh, endpoint URI is uh, localhost 8080 and the message we are getting from hello rhythm learning. Like this we can uh, uh, integrate our Oracle integration cloud with any on-premise or any machine which is behind the firewall and communicate with the local resources in that particular premises. Thank you for joining us in this video.